All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! All right. So we just do the countdown, and they have started. See, Calico, this is why I asked to make sure you were ready, okay? So now we're gonna have to go and do Stu's audio, which is fine. We're gonna have to go to Stu's audio right here. Oh. I think Calco might be having a little bit of internet issues. Oh, there's Stu with the internet issues. I'm not dropping any frames, guys. Can't blame me. Not my fault. I'll let you know when the frames are my fault. All right, so in world one, the first thing that they need to get is the MFP tunnel. MFP tunnel is what we're looking for. Okay, they're both in level two. All right, let's go ahead and do the switch. Oh yeah, much better. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, so world one, first thing they need to try and get is the MFP tunnel. That awards them 0.5 points. They get one try and they cannot take any damage. So if they nail that, they get the they get the 0.5. And that's the first point in world one. Stewie right now has the lead in time, but as you guys have seen in the other bracket matches, oh boy, it is not about time. You do award first and second place based on the time that you have, but the points are spread out differently. So even if you win in time, you don't actually win the race. Uh, Calco's timer looks a little bit big right here, so I'm actually gonna make it a little bit smaller. Bring it down a little bit. And I'm gonna widen it out so we can get the so we can get the minutes. There we go. Looking good, guys. Looking good. All right, MFP tunnel. Take a look at Stewie's screen right now. Let's see if Stewie gets the tunnel. He's going for it. Oh, he takes damage. Now it's time for Cal. Oh, Calco misses it too. Shit, man. Dang, dude. Stewie was so close. What happened there is he did a little bit too big of a turn back, man. He got sucked right into that. You hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Stewie getting some pretty good RNG, though, with the uh, Hammer Brother Calco. Not so much. But Stu's going to have to take a little time loss here. Look at how much time that, that mushroom grab takes. Unfortunate. Oh, Stewie not getting P-Speed. Calco taking the time lead. Wow, that's incredible. Okay. All right. So we, we have Stinky Stinky Airship now. Neither of them have awarded any points. But what we can get ready for is what are the points we can acquire in World 2. What are some of the points that we can get in World 2, guys? Let's take a look here. We have... Okay, so they need to get into the pipe in 2-2 two -two at 292. And on the boss, they need to get a fire kill of a 221. Alright, so hopefully they can get it. This is, uh, this is shaping up to be actually pretty good so far. Calco did have a chance... To not only take the lead in time, which he has taken, but if he would have got the MFP tunnel, uh, sometimes your duck inputs do not work very well with those tunnels, man. I tell you, it's uh, hard times, man. Hard life. Hard life. Alright. Auto scrollers. So they're both going to probably get the same boss pattern, it looks like, uh, by getting the fire flower on this airship. Unfortunately... If Calco misses this Fire Flower, which he doesn't, but if he did, he would instantly not be able to get rewarded with the World 6 power-up. Has to be the Fire Flower from World 1. Whether it's from the Hammer Brother or on the airship, that's the only Fire Flower that will be awarded points. These guys are bouncing off these things, man. I'd stay the heck away from them. You never know. Alright, Fire Kill. Calco knows his Fire Kills and he's safe. Stewie, Fire Kills. Stewie knows his fire kills. He is also safe. Right on to the both of them. Whoop! So, Calco has a much bigger lead than you would think right now because Stewie ended up starting before him. Oh. I just took a sip of my Sodi Pop without opening it. That felt good on the lips. So, it turns out... Calco was definitely checking out Bikini Babes, which is why he lost four seconds right at the start. Amen. Bikini babes, can't help it. All right. So, first thing we're going to look for is 2-2. Can they get into the pipe at a 292? That is the question. Ooh, Calco going for speed strats. Let's take a look at Stu. Stewie also makes it clean. Look at these guys, man. They are just gunning it right now. This is going to be a very interesting race. It's going to be a lot of World 7, World 7 turnarounds here. Stewie does not want to get knocked out of this tournament. He really does not want to get knocked out. All right. Everyone pay attention to Calco's stream. Can he get 292 on the timer? Let's find out. Yeah, 297. 296. 295. He slowed down. 294. Three. 
He's on it. He does not get it. And Stu de definitely does not get it. Uh, Stu falls into the moat of tears. You do not get a point for 287, unfortunately. Neither of them getting those points. Calco had a very close chance, but uh, Stewie just simply adding to the moat of tears, making it a lot higher. All right, Calco getting really early P speed. Very impressive. That's hard to do. I'm going to see Stewie go for the, the jump. Yeah, he's going to go on the dry bones jump. Calco is making heavy work. I asked him if he practiced the points. I forgot to ask him if he practiced the game. It's looking like he did. All right. Making heavy work. He's not giving Stewie a chance at all to catch up in time. Like, not at all. Uh, not only is he not making any mistakes, but he's doing slightly faster strats in a few levels here. Um, all right. And he's getting good RNG with the Hammer Brother here, so that's gonna, that's gonna luck out for him. However, we have seen in past races that getting the music box is very beneficial to you later. So when I ask Calco if he practiced the points, I don't think he practiced doing points runs. So we'll, we'll be able to find out later to see what happens. Does Stewie want the red rocket. We don't need to ask if Stewie's been practicing. We know he's all about this tournament right now. A lot of people right now with the with the COVID, they're out of jobs and everything. They need to make up some quick extra cash. Watch out, Stewie! Oh my god, he takes damage! Stewie does not get awarded. That red rocket strat is not a strategy that I would advise anyone to do. You overleg the stage. And the shell is so fast, it's all over the place. Unfortunate. But he is going to skip the music box, so he is in good hands. Calco having a massive lead right now with points as long as he doesn't take damage. Stewie's beating himself over right now with that. I would not advise the Red Rocket Strat. Debated him. The shell is moving way too fast. He cannot get that early shell hit uh, down in the pit at the end of 2-3. But you never know, man. You gotta go with what you're comfortable with. If that's what he knows, then that's what he practices. That's what he's good with. Calco almost taking a death. They're losing peace. Oh my god, it's so lucky he shot two fires. Is he gonna get a fanfare, though? No, he's not. Holy crap. He Calco was so close to a fanfare there. He had two stars. 2-4 uh, is really hard to not get a fanfare. It's incredible. And Calco's just getting amazing RNG in World 2 here. Holy crap. This dude is, is not able to catch up at all in this world. But Stu also kind of getting good RNG as well. He just had to take the slower level and that damage there. 730 Calco pretty much entered the door. Oh, so it looks like Stu's over 15 seconds behind, with especially with that delay that Calco had. Calco had a, a disadvantage. He... All right, he's making it through. Oh, he's going for the fast shot. Does not take damage. Stu is going to have to opt out for having lag created in the pyramid. Without fire, you cannot shoot that plant, causing extra lag. All right, Stu's going for the top tier strat, and he makes it. Oh, he misses the pipe. He's not going to have P-Speed here. Is he going to take damage again? No, but he's going to have to have a slow card grab, unfortunately. <laughs> what a world two. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, what, do you, what did you guys think of that world two? That was an incredible world too, man. Holy jumping. What an incredible world too. We got Calco in the lead with time right now. And again, like I've mentioned before, it's not about time. Stewie can really make it up. All right. So the next point that these guys are looking for is a 221 or higher on the airship. Let's find out. Stu is going to have to really pay attention to what kind of boss patterns he's getting. Uh, movement of one with fire flower grab on the airship should give him a movement of two pattern. But is he going to remember that? Is he paying attention? Is he all, is he flustered from making mistakes that he's not focusing? Let's find out. Calco not able to get that power up. Wants it, but not able to get it. Come on, Calco. Now's not the time. All right, what do we got here? Two shots. Four shots. He gets it! Calco gets the 221. Congrats to Calco. Right on. Stewie, two shot, four shot, six shots. He gets it as well. They are tied up right now. Incredible. Nice, dude, to both of them. Stewie is not flustered. He is on his game.
He is not making any more mistakes. He wants those points, man. He lucked out, but not for long. All right, so everyone pay attention to Calco's screen. We have another point. Point five if he gets the frame perfect jump and 3-1. That can give you a good boost in lead, man. That can really boost you. All right, let's see if he gets it. Does he get it? Oh, he doesn't get it. Fireballs, man. That's not the way to get the jump. All right, let's watch Stewie. Does Stewie get it? Come on, Stu. This will give you the lead, man. You need it. Oh, Stewie doesn't get it either. Come on, boys. All right, so they're going to make work of these levels. Just, you know, casually passing through. Doing a good job. Uh, we're going to see how they do. There could be a big time split right here with 3-2. Uh, Yo, thank God the audio isn't messing up on Calco's. Just the, uh, just the buffering. All right, let's see if Calco gets P-Speed. Very difficult strat. He's looking good so far. Looking good. Oh, he's got it. Easy. Once you land on those donut blocks with the right P-Speed build, he's got it. Let's see if Stewie can get it as well. Stewie knows the strat very well. Ah, oh, Stewie does not get it. He jumped a little too early or a little too late. The frames are not on his side. However, he has taken damage, so this shouldn't stress him out too much. Time loss, whatever. You're not going to lose the, the tournament due to due to the time. You're pretty good. But Calco is just killing it. Is he, is he going to get a PB? <laughs> are we going to see a PB from Calco? It all depends if he goes for door three here. Door three is some big points if you get it. Calco with the buffering issue. Stewie gets run away, bro. The worst thing to happen. Calco could get run away, bro, too. You never know. Calco is having slight internet issues. Luckily, we have two screens, so anytime his buffers, you just, you know, take a look at Stu's. Everything's looking good. All right, is he going to go for door three? Calco's also set up for really good RNG here as well. Ooh, buffering. Not a good time. Let's see if he goes for it. He's going for it. Oh, he gets it! Holy shizies, he gets it! Incredible, man! All right, Stewie's turn. Let's go, Stu. Come on, Stu. You need this point, man. You need this point to stay, stay in, uh... Ah, Stu gets it as well! What the heck is going on, man? What in the actual heck is going on? This is incredible right now. They both get door three and they're tied up for 2.5, 2.5. The Stewie, though, he's got Runaway Bro. Is the Runaway Bro gonna come back? That's the question, man. He's very nervous right now. He's getting points, but what? what's gonna happen here with Runaway Bro? He can't take the death. He can't take the death here. Ooh, boy, this is crazy. You love to see it, guys. All right, come on, HB, come back. Oh, he didn't come back! He's right there. Stu's gonna skip it though. Wow. All right. And Stu, so Stu's got to do the fortress anyways. This is actually a really, really good spot for Stu. He is actually in an incredible spot right now. Stu's gonna try and make up some really thick points. He's gonna go for the ass point. You see that on the tracker? It looks like it says ass right there. In world four, the first point, point five, looks like he's gonna go for the ass point. Poor Calco, man. I should definitely message him and let him know that the drop frames are okay, don't stress it. But honestly, look at the way he's playing. I don't think he's stressed out about anything. I think he's gonna get a PB. He's almost got a fanfare too. I kind of want to see him get one because... Gosh, you you, you want to do a turn back on, on card number two so you're safe for two cards. But he's going for turn back card number three. Let's do we get in the H jump. Let's see if Calco gets the H jump here. Boom, boom. He got it. Easy, man. What? Why are we even watching his screen? We just—we know he's going to nail everything. I don't think he's made a mistake yet. Calco is absolutely killing it right now. Although, I wonder if Calco is going to go for the fortress anyways. You have an extra hammer. There be, if you wanted to go for the fortress in World 4, there should be no reason. There should be no reason to go for the hammer in World, uh, in World 3, right? All right, I so I can see Stewie going for the Wendy, but I highly doubt Calco's gonna go for the Wendy. There should be no reason for him to go for the Wendy, right? Dun 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 d
So the objective here is you have to kill Wendy with a time of exactly 2.10 on the in-game timer. And she has to have all three of her rings out. If you do that, you get 0.5. Boom. So Calco's gonna go first. He's stuck on the wrench there. Oh no, Stu's gonna go first. Okay, Stu, let's see. Is he gonna is he gonna adopt some of the strats we've seen before? Or is he not even gonna worry about it? Nope, it doesn't look like he's worried about that. Is he two, four, six, eight, nine? Ten. Oh, okay, he's not going for it. I highly doubt Calco's gonna go for it either. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, he's not going for it. I don't blame them. That's a hard point, man. That's like a to win the finals point, I swear. Right on. Auto scrollers suck. Okay, so there are two things that can happen. There are two things that can happen in World 4. They can do the fortress and get a 288 in World 4. We call that the ass point. Or if they get the star, bro, they lose 0.5. All right, what's Stewie doing? Oh, he's going for the spade card. He's going for the ass point, you guys. Stewie is going for the ass point. Right on, dude. He knows, man. He knows the strats. Oh, you gotta stop matching them, Stu. What's going on? You don't need mushrooms. Hope it doesn't screw up his inventory. Ooh, Calco going for the hard P-Speed strats. Nails it, dude. That 4-1 is very difficult. Looks like Calco's been practicing. Stewie also... Nope, Stewie's gonna go for the safe strat. Dude, I'm with him all the way. Oh, he messes it up, though. It's not safe if you don't do it. <laughs> you gotta nail it for it to be safer. Calco getting good. Calco has got an amazing RNG this this run so far. There's two games though, so is it possible to get good RNG two games in a row? We'll find out. All right, these guys are just making work of this. All right, now it's Stewie's turn. Stewie doesn't get the best RNG, but Stewie's RNG is not that bad. Stewie is set up to uh, be able to fight the Cloud Bro before the Fortress. That's pretty good. He's got to move back up or down and then back up. Calco's gonna have to play the chasing game, but he seems to be safe for Hammer Brothers, which is very comfortable, man. When you know you're safe with Hammer Brother RNG, it's very easy to nail these uh, P-Speed strategies because you're stressing a lot less. All right, so yeah, Stewie's gonna have to play the chasing game, unfortunately, because he is going for the Fortress. Um, he, I don't think, because he, because he went to the Spade game, I don't think he's gonna use a star for it. A star would make it much easier, but I don't think he's gonna go for a star. But if he does take damage, he cannot get 288. So we'll see how it goes. They both nailed 4-3. Amazing. Calco's going to use his hammer here, looks like. Ooh, getting a movement of 4. Hate to see that, man. Feels bad, man. All right, here we go. He's got the cloud. He's doing pretty good, though. He's doing pretty good. He's got a big lead right now. All right, here we go, Stu. Everyone watch Stu's screen. This is going to get a point lead right here. Point five. Good turn back. Good duck jump. This is the hardest part right here. Nails it. Oh, he takes damage, though! He gets the clip, but it doesn't matter. Holy, you hate to see that, dude. He had it, dude. But that is exactly why he did the spade card game. Dude, if he didn't take damage, he would have nailed it. Often to lose a little bit of time there, not jumping for the, the orb, but that's okay. That's okay. Damn, Stu. Nice try, dude. Very nice try. Well, that's interesting. He's not going to go for that. Ooh, Calco gets a very good music box right here. Holy jumping, Calco. Uh, I see what Stu's doing. He's going to equip this Fire Flower after this level. Because, yeah, see, so he's going to go for speed. But, however, taking that damage there is actually going to slow him down a lot. Because now he can't go for the Super Swim. Uh, you hate to see it, Stu. Hopefully he doesn't get a, a bomb here. Oh, he gets the bomb! Ooh, ouch. Should have equipped that Fire Flower, man. Trying to cheat it. Trying to cheat it. So Stewie, unfortunately, takes that death. Brings him down to one. And he doesn't make the Lakitu jump again. But he nails it. Wow, Calco just smashing through. He's done crazy in these last two levels. If you had noticed in the previous level, he did all the, all the killings with the Fire Flower. He didn't miss a beat. All right, so Calco has not taken damage yet. He's getting good RNG. He's nailing all of his P-Speed strats. He's getting movements of one. And he is the heck out of this world. Dude, Kalko's not messing around. I'm. Did I say Kalko's the underdog? He, he should be offended that I said that. That is my bad right there. That's my bad. He can look at Bikini Babes all he wants. It doesn't seem like it's going to make a difference. 
Okay, so Stu. Oh my gosh, if Stu gets the star bro right here. Oh no. That is a yikers. Fingers on the trigger. Do not get it. Oh, he lucked out. Very good. Use the music box and he's... Yep, yeah, he's... Why isn't he using the fire flower? He couldn't possibly be saving it for Jesus Clip, right? You could do... You could do damage boost stat, uh, strats for Jesus Clip. I'm very interested in what's going on here. I, I would just quit my fire flower. He gets the fire kill. He has it for this level. He'll have it for 5-1. He'll have it for the boom boom. Very curious to see Stewie's game right now. He is not playing the same kind of game that he played in his first match in brackets one. Okay, I think he's gonna get Fire Flower here. Okay, and then he's gonna save it for, um, okay, yeah, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, he's gonna save it for, uh, Jesus Clip, the other Fire Flower. Calco is not gonna go for Jesus Clip, so Stu could get a huge game here. This is why Jesus Clip is the way that it is in situations like these. It allows Stu to go for it with no punishment, really. Only a .5 punishment, and Calco... I don't think he should go for it, right? Ooh, Stewie getting a movement of two, so that is definitely going to change his boss pattern right now. Let's hope he's been practicing the boss patterns. He knows movements of two, right? For sure. Alright. Looks like Kalko's about to finish this one. Uh, I'm very sorry for Kalko's uh, frame rate droppage. It's not on my end, it's on his end. Um, so there's really not much we can do about it. I don't really have a problem with it. I assume you guys don't. We can watch Stewie's screen. Dude, Kalko getting, what is that, a 21-34? Okay, so Kalko is on PB pace right now, it looks like. Yeah. Kalko is on a huge, he just got a gold. Kalko just got a gold by four seconds. He's got he's minus 16.9. Yeah, you love to see it. So yeah, I think it'd be really hard to beat Kalko right now. He's got the points lead and he's got the time lead. What's gonna happen though? Kalko's got one world left right now. He's got one world left. If he if he manages to not take damage by the time he enters the fortress in world six, he's good. All right, as long as he doesn't take damage here. Playing it safe. He's gonna get P-Speed at the bottom, looking good. Boy, that frame drop. I wonder why it's it's doing that to him. It, he, like, every was, everything was fine, and then as soon as you start the race, it's not fine. All right, if he falls down the shaft of shame, he loses 0.5. Does he fall down the shaft of shame? No, he does not. No cliffhanger there, we just instantly am shown. Here, let me try and refresh, but I highly doubt it's on my end. It's it's definitely not on my end. Yeah. Yeah, he's having some uh, bad internet issues right now. I wonder if he lives in a place where, you know, like at a certain time the internet's kind of bad. It's very possible. Alright, Stewie! He's out of the long airship. Time for him to come back and start making points. Oh, Calco gets a movement of four, so he is not awarded that point. He is not awarded. He's not going for the uh, P-Wing, though. Ooh, his his, uh, his buffering is getting a little bit worse here. It's kind of getting annoying. It's kind of getting annoying now because it's every chugga. Come on, internet. Not at a time like this. All right. Well, now we now we have Stu we can watch. But Kalko did get a movement of four, so he's not going to get awarded. Uh, what's he going for here? The P-Wing? Or did he get unlucky? No, he got the star, but there's no punishment for that star. So he's, he's okay. An extra star is actually really, really good. But now he can go for this P-Wing. So he's not going to... All right, Stewie. Stewie's got to get the heck out of here without any movements of four. Let's see if he gets the first movement of four here. Ah, the first movement of four! He gets it right away, all right. Neither of them get the award for movements of four. Stewie does not fall down the shaft of shame. That's good, that's very good for him. Oh, Stewie taking damage, but that is actually all right. He does not have to worry about taking damage there. And Calco messes up his P-Speed in the first section of the pyramid. 
Uh, he's disappeared for a little while. Mario's got some new moves. Uh, he's already in the pipe. I uh, didn't know that. Ooh, Calcoplan is smart here. He does not want to take damage. He's so close to a big reward. He is so close to a big reward. All right, so Stu's going to have to opt out for the no damage here. Which, uh, it, that should be not too bad if he doesn't take damage, right? Because he can get his mushroom back in 5-5. Five, five, and then he can still try Jesus Clip. There's no way Calco's going for Jesus Clip. Okay, so we're gonna actually switch over audios to Stu now. So we can kind of focus on Stu's with the sound and Calco can just go ahead and glitch his way to the end. Did Calco get a fanfare? He did not get a fanfare. Lucky him. I can't pause the stream because I have to see what, what happens. Stewie playing it slow right there. Nailing it. All right, Calco does not get P-Speed in 5-5. However, he still has not taken damage. Uh, Stu is going to have to get the uh, Hammer Brother here. Gosh, it looked like Calco almost took damage there. Dude, he's got like one frame per like second here. Yeah, Calco's really struggling here. I've never seen him have such uh, bad internet issues before. It's definitely not messing him up, and he's not going to be disqualified or anything. You just, you hate to see it. Oh, Stu! Stu, there's stairs right there! Watch out for the stairs, Stu! Alright, I'm pretty sure Calco is not going to go for Jesus Clip. There's no way. We're going to find out. It's just going to glitch us. Oh, he's, oh that's right. He's got to go for the music. Well. So he had to do a triple Hammer Brother World, unfortunately, in World 5. So I think he's going to lose time from that. And he flubbed up the Twisty Castle. All right, Stu, don't take damage here. It's really tough. All right. Calco, definitely not going for Jesus Clip. You do not blame him. But Stu is going to go for it. Stu is definitely going to go for Jesus Clip here. Calco's, Calco's stream right now is like a picture book. The story is told by frames. Ooh, Stu, making sure he misses that... Uh, Gotta watch out for those fanverse. No one's got a coin ship yet either. Everyone's paying attention to their coin ships here. Which is really good. Alright, Stu's just got 5-5, five, five, and then he's got 5-7, and boom, he is good to go with Jesus Clip. He's still got Ooh, that was very nice on Stu's end. He's still gonna want to get a uh, Fire Flower from 5-7. He has the extra star, but he does not want to use it. Very interesting. I'm not sure why he, he would go for this when he has the extra star, but hey man. Who knows? Oh my gosh, I thought Calco died there for a sec because the way the game like chugged, but he did not. It looks like Calco is going to make it with the points, guys. He he looks like he's going to get the reward in World 6. Let's scroll down here. Let's get rid of World 1 and 2. All right. Oh, Calco, yeah. If your stream could just lag past the airship, that would be great. Okay, so his internet finally died there. Took a while. So hopefully it refreshes its way back. He's probably going to go offline there for a sec. As long as he keeps running. He has time. As long as it comes back within the next minute, I can watch for points. Uh, hopefully he knows the finish. All right, Stu, Jesus clip. Let's go. Ah, he gets it! Stu gets the Jesus clip. Incredible. Let me go ahead and refresh Calcos. So it reloads at the proper spot. Jeez. Stewie gets the Jesus clip and ups his points game right there. Absolutely incredible on Stu's end. Uh, Calco not having a good time here. Ooh, Stu almost using a, a warp whistle. Oh, come on, man. He's offline. His internet died. Uh, hopefully it shut. Oh, I see the live notification. I keep refreshing though, guys. There we go. Right on. Internet back. Looking good. It's a little chuggy still, but he's back. Oh. I just need to see him not take damage. By the time he gets to the World 6 Fortress. Then he gets those points. 
All right. He's going to take the pipe. Let's hope he doesn't take damage on this hammer brother. He's looking good. No coin ship. He's about to enter. Here it comes. Whee! And he gets it. He is still in the lead, dude. He got the... Dude, the, the, the point spread right here is incredible. The point spread right here is absolutely incredible. You know, I just want to say... Oh, Calco died! Oh my gosh! Wow, that they are tied up now! <laughs> Holy crap! Dude, you hate to see it taking that death, man. All I saw is like little baby Mario... Ooh, man, he took a spill. He tripped and scraped his knee. Gotta watch out for those. So Stewie has not rewarded the uh, World 6 point. However, they still have a chance for wall jump first try. And then they have a chance for the Fort 3 clip. Wow, they both taken a death and then they both got... Like, this is incredible. They both taken the death, lost the death. And then they both have the same point here. And then they both, oh my gosh, they have the difference of three. Mm, Jesus Clip owns everything. Get out of here, okay? Whoever said that, banned for life. Right on, man. That's incredible. That is incredible. All right, Calco, does he get the P-Speed here? Probably not. It's pretty difficult. Yeah, so he might be a little tripped up right now. Hopefully his internet's really not giving him issues. You hate to see it, man. But it's coming back on. I hope it just gets a little bit better. I hope it's just... You guys know how the internet is sometimes. Sometimes it just has a really annoying, uh, you know, 20 minutes of chugging. It's getting throttled, man. I didn't pay for this. All right, Stewie making heavy work. Stewie's kind of catching up a little bit in time. That death really uh, cost Calco a lot of time. A lot more than Stu's death, I can tell you that much. Does, does Calco get the despawn? It looks like he did. Right on, dude. That's not easy to do. Hopefully Stewie doesn't scrape his knee here. Stewie does not scrape his knee. And take a spill. Went back home crying to mommy. So he's pretty good. Big boy strats. Unfortunately, Calco had to go back crying to mommy with that death. Does Calco get good RNG? We're going to find out here. He's in a weird situation. Uh, if the Hammer Brother moves right, he is forced to fight this extra Hammer Brother. Calco always playing with fire with that fanfare. And he gets unlucky with that bro. Ooh, you hate to see it. Luckily, he didn't take damage, though, so he can still do the fortress uh, pretty well. We're going to see if uh, Calco has his uh, wall jump game on par. It looks like Calco has better inventory items, though. Looks like he does have better inventory items. He gets the fast fly in the fortress. Is he going to go for the even faster fly? He is. That's so scary, but he made it, man. No, Dude, there's no guessing with this. Ooh, Stewie getting unlucky as well. Hopefully, he does not take a spill here. No, he is fine. Don't worry, man. If you ever die, you got a solid three seconds to check out the Bikini Babes and you're back on target. You're back ready to go. So Stewie's also going to clear house here. Let's see if Calco's going to take damage. If he takes damage to Small Mario, which he's still Leaf right now. I think he's going to damage boost for P-Speed. Is he going to damage boost to Small? If he does, we know he's going to go for the wall jump. Let's find out. No, he is not. He got the P-Wing, so he's going to use the P-Wing for it. Does he get the fanfare? He does not get the fanfare. Dude, he's playing with fire all the time. You see how Stu's going for the turn back on the second card? So he feels safe for cards three and back to one again. All right, Calco going. This is a chance for Stu to take the lead, man. Stu is very behind in time, though. I can't believe how far behind in time he got. He is almost two minutes behind his PBs, so... All right, Stu gonna break the block. Don't mess up your items. Ooh, bumping on the overworld map. You're not gonna make it in this day, you know? You're not gonna make it in this league bumping all over the map. That's not how you get places. Can't, you can't hack it. All right, is Calco gonna go for the clip? Let's find out. Oh, I don't... I can't tell if he went for it, but he definitely missed the door there. I can tell he missed the door. He was on the right side of the door. So we know Stu's going to go for the wall jump here. This will give Stu an actual uh, 0.5 lead. However, Calco looks like he's definitely going to get the time points. So hopefully, uh, let's see here. Stu's going to get the P speed, do the old block grab. He didn't get frame ruled. He's pretty good. Gets the bounce off, nails the H jump. He's going to take the damage for comfortable wall jump. If he gets this first try, man, he is in the clear, dude. He is in the clear. 
Oh, Calco's internet. Oh, Calco's internet coming back, dude. Coming back. All right, Stu, let's get this wall jump. Come on, Stu, first try. No mistakes. Oh, he got the pixel. Got the pixel. He can't handle the pressure. It is too much for his little heart, man. He can't handle it. There you go. All right, man. He needs a break, I'm telling you. He got the Jesus clip, which was a nice break. But he can't get the lead. He's been behind the whole time, tying it up, behind, tying it up, behind. It's incredible. Yeah. All right, so Stu's going to take it slow here. Is he going to grab the Mushroom McGrath and go for the clip? He is, and that is a good idea in his position. They cannot see their opponents, and he is guaranteeing that he is behind right now, and I don't blame him. So if he gets this, that'll be incredible. Oh, I thought he got it! He got me, man! I got you baited right there! Holy jumping, dude. Stu is an emotional roller coaster. I really thought he got it there. Just the way the jump, like, smoothed out. All right. So we're going to have to watch Calco's screen right here. Let's see if he moves one pixel to the right while he's waiting for the wand. If he does, that means he's setting up for sub-pixel manipulation. If he doesn't, then it might mean that he doesn't know it. Oh, he did! Look at that! Move forward one pixel. So he uh, he has the manipulation set up. He can get 7-1 first try. Fingers on the trigger, buddy. I'm right here for you. Look at you. Three and three. This is incredible. All right. Let's go. I wonder if Calco thinks he's behind or not. I'm not sure. This is absolutely incredible. All right. You guys see the mess? My mess is there. I'm ready. You've earned it. Come on, man. You set up the sub pixel. Your internet's crapping out on you. You went back crying to mommy. Like, come on, man. Let's go. You, you deserve this. You need it. All right. Here we go. gets it Wee! right on dude that's what you need to do to take the lead that is what you need to do to take the lead stewie unfortunately getting the wrong clip the clip on the airship is not gonna help you all right i don't think calco knows fast two two right? so i think he's gonna go for a safe or sorry not two two seven two yeah he's gonna go for a safe seven two he's also gonna p wing seven six so he's not gonna go for the first try seven six so Stu has a chance to get some points here Ooh, Calco doing some questionable jumps there, but he makes it. All right, big turn back, turn back. Does he get damaged? No, good RNG. However, he's not going to be able to tuck right into the pipe right away. Very close, though. All right, watch Stewie's screen. Is he going to move one pixel to the right? Set up a good sub-pixel value. Let's find out. Ah, oh, he doesn't move. He hasn't... If I was him, I would assume that I... Because he tapped right so many times that he did not move right one pixel... I would, I would assume that I have a very high sub-pixel value, so I would actually go for standing clip. Let's see if Stewie is good with uh, strategies on the fly. A lot of speedrunning is a whole bunch of your crap not working out and fixing it on the fly to secure a PB or a win in a race. If I was him, I would definitely go for the standing clip right now. I would definitely go for the standing clip. Let's see what he, let's see what he's gonna do. He needs this. He needs this. Oh, but he still got it anyways! He said, Mitch, shut your mouth. Okay, Mr. Commentator, shut your mouth. I know what I'm doing. That's, uh, that's it, man. I'm not going to start saying anything anymore, man. Put my money where my mouth is, and I got wrecked right there. So, dude, hats off, man. What is wrong with these guys? Why do they keep getting the same stuff, right? Calco's not going to go for 7-6, but Stu's going to miss it anyways. This is incredible. Nice, Stu not having a star, so it looks like he's going to save a little bit. Yeah, Calco definitely not going for sub-pixel manipulation in 7-6. Uh, seems like he does not know it, which gives Stewie a very big advantage. I did explain all of these things in the uh, layout and rules, so uh, definitely something he could have learned there. All right, so Stewie has a chance to uh, gain, and Stewie needs to get extra points because Calco is in the lead with time. Calco not able to go for 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, what is he going to do here? He needs 7-7 seven, seven to secure this lead because we know Stu's going to go for it. So, I wonder what he's going to do. Is he going to go for Hammer Suit or Fire Flower Strat? This is interesting. He's going to get the star. Let's see what he does next. Turn back there. Yeah, he's going to get P-Speed. Is he going to go for Hammer Suit? No. All right. 
So if I was him, I would go for 7-7 right now. Because, again, he's got a huge lead. He doesn't know that. But it's about points, not time. Help oh, Stewie. Getting confused with his inventory. Oh, he's not going for 7-7. I think that's a big mistake. Oh, no. And he's going for bottom clips. Calco with a huge lead. Making some questionable plays here. Oh, he's duck jumping a little too late. This is going to be very interesting how this turns out. When you do all bottom clips and you need to get clip 3 and 4 first try, that means you have to actually get clip 2, 3, and 4 first try. Because after clip 2 right there, then now he's got to get clip 3. Does not get it. Is he going to opt to get out of there? He is. All right. Stewie did the sub pixel manipulation. Is he going to get it to gain 0.5 on Calco? He gets it! He gains a 0.5 lead on Calco right now. And Calco is... He's still in the lead with time, but if Stu gets 7-7, seven, seven, time or not, that is a huge point. Holy jumping. Guys, I'm telling you, this is what happens when you practice the points. You practice the points. All right. So we saw Calco practice in the before. He's going to go for the star right here for safety, I think. Yes, he is. All right, cool. So he should be pretty good. Stewie's going to go for the 7-7. Seven, seven. How many tries is it going to take him? He almost nailed his second try right there. Calco not dying here. Making heavy work of this level. Looking really good. Looking really good. Calco not up He takes damage! And Stu gets the 7-7 seven, seven really fast. Holy crap, dude. That is incredible. Calco is not going to be able to get rewarded the point in World 8. Right here, this point. Keeping the power up from World 7. Calco will not get that point. What the heck is happening with Stu? Stu is back with a vengeance, man. He is not... And he's going for bottom clips. I would never do that. I don't think I know how to do the points, man. These guys are just showing me all which ways how to do things. This is crazy. Dude, if Stu gets all World 7 points, that'll be crazy. All right, here it is. Let's find out. He gets it. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. I was on the edge of my seat. I couldn't handle that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have a heart attack. He was so close. Dude, he was so close to an additional 1.5. Holy crap, but he does have a juicy point lead. And as long as he doesn't take any damage, see, if you if you had practiced some of the points... And I'm not, I'm not saying anyone did anything wrong, but Stewie knows there's no reason to do this fortress in World 7. So he's not going to do it. Or he's going to do it, I guess. I guess they don't like the World 8 fortress. I, I think the World 8 fortress is a lot less stressful than this one. And you get the combo, right? You get the combo with the music box. But then again, dude, I'm the commentator. I've been proven wrong like a billion times today. Oh! oh! <laughs> no way! That's a good idea, Cloud. So Stewie is not rewarded the point and takes a death. Oh my god, this race is emotional, man. I can't handle this. Wow, unfortunate, unfortunate waste of a cloud there. Not going to be able to bring that back, but we'll see how it goes here. This is incredible. Oh, using that P-Wing. Nice. <sighs> that was extremely upsetting. Sorry, this race is way too intense for me to read any questions and stuff like that. Sorry about that. There's just too much going on. All right, so since we have time, since there's lots of auto scrollers, we have time. There are points awarded in World Eight. Uh, eight. Oh no, Calco, look out! Okay, he's safe. <laughs> I feel like I was just in a horror movie. Look out, Calco! All right, so he is out of there. Finally, we're in World Eight. Things are looking good. All right. So World Eight points. If you get Rangless on the first tank, RNG point awarded 0.5. For the sole purpose of swings. If you get no hands, 0.5. If you get the elevator clip, first try, 0.5. Neither of them have hammer suit, so we don't have to worry about that. And neither of them have saved their power up when they first got it in World 7. So they do not get that. Power up on the airship does not count. Power up on the airship does not count, unfortunately. 
Palco saved 5.9 seconds in World 7. He is only 26.8 seconds behind PB. I don't know if he got hands or not, but... Man, dude, if he PBs this race, that'll be incredible. Never seen it before. Never seen it before. Oh, you hate to see it when the runs get to this point. Auto scroller after auto scroller. But it lo looking good. Time to take a sip. Oh my gosh. Stu going for the fire kill. Not needed at all. It seems like just a little bit of a time waste. Oh my god, he's getting tossed around like a ragdoll. Get out of there, Stu! Not even trying for the off screen wand grab. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. We have points here for off-screen wand grab, and there's no harm in trying the off-screen wand grab. Let me remind you guys, there is no harm in trying the off-screen wand grab. All you do is jump into the wall, and if you get a wall jump, you stand in the top right, you wait for the wand to go up, and then you jump to the center of the screen, and you hope you grab the wand off the screen. Boom. 1.5 points. That is massive. And I'm seeing these runners, they're not even trying it. Even if you don't know how to do it, there's still no harm in trying Oh, Calco! All right, he didn't create that much leg. That's actually pretty good. All right, it's Calco right now. He's going to try and get uh, a point here. There's not much he can do, but he's still going to go for it. Uh, Stewie Cartman's PB is a 51-51. Calco's is a 51-57. I do not like... Okay, does he get Wrangless? Oh, he gets Wrangless! What is this? Calco catching up with that point five. This is incredible, man. Even after all the work Stewie's putting in, man, he just cannot catch a break, dude. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, this match is incredible. Oh, that's right. Calco did use a star. Thank you for reminding me. Uh, Calco did use a star. I forgot about that. He used a star on 7-2. Thank you very much for the reminder. I did actually miss that one. I normally don't miss the points, but I missed that one. Right on. All right. We're back on par. So Calco's actually going to have to work a little bit more. All right. So Stewie is next in line for Wrangless. So hopefully Stewie gets Wrangless. If he gets Wrangless, that will really help him out here with the points. And they have no idea how close the race is right now. This is incredible. All right, right after Stu's Wrangless that he's going to get, which is going to be awesome. Let's find out right here. Come on, Stu, get Wrangless. No, he does not. Boomerang Bro moves backwards. You cannot get Wrangless. All right, back over to Calco's uh, stream. We are going to find out if he gets no hands. If he gets no hands, this will be incredible for him. He's on massive pace. Let's find out here. All right, Calco. Come on, no hands, bud. This is what you need, man. Oh, after he didn't get first hand, I was like, easy, easy, no hands, dude. Right on. Let's hope he only gets one hand. Do not fall in, in the uh, Regu here. Okay, he makes it. For some reason, Hand Trap 2 is very good at eating A inputs. I always jump early on the bridges. So that I can make sure I run a little bit before I jump. I never want to jump on the edges because for some reason. All right, no no two hands. Ooh, getting sucked in by two hands. I think that's going to rob him of his uh, sub 54. Let's find out. Well, making good work of uh, Hambridge 3. Stewie will definitely catch up with a lot of time here if he gets pulled in by no hands. Uh, I think Calco has the extra cloud still. Uh, for the Fortress in World 8. So Calco has still a pretty big lead. He's looking pretty tight right now. Alright, he's on the fast airship of Doom. The fast air force. Looking incredible. Stu going in his little playland here. You, you do not want to take damage on Calco's side because he is going to skip the fortress that gives the fire flower and that would be really bad for him. Stu, on the other hand, he can make a fire flower back if he does make a mistake somewhere in the run. So let's see. Stewie might end up being in the same level at the same time if he does get no hands. Stu really needs this point to secure a lead in terms of first place and time. So let's find out. Does he get no hands? <sighs> Not even close. 99.9% .9 chance. You hate to see it, dude. You hate to see it. That's why these points exist, man. They're there for the swing, but the odds are low. So makes for an interesting uh, world date. 
All right, Kalko. So as long as Kalko takes no damage, he's also free to use some stars here as well. He's very free to use some stars. Ah, Stu also getting two hands, not closing the gap there. Unfortunately, he needed to close that gap a little bit. I think we might see a tie in points here. I think the elevator clip might uh, might play a very big role. Kalko not using a star, though. Getting the frame for it. He gets it. Oh, my gosh, dude. Incredible. You got to get pretty much a frame perfect fire shoot uh, to uh, keep P speed there. Very difficult. Oh, my gosh. Kalko with the two stars. Okay, so what we're going to see here is the possibility of the sun. Is he going to skip this level? No, he's not. Okay. So on Kalko's side, he could have a bad sun pattern and force him to not be able to grab the card the way he wants at the end. So we could see a fanfare right here. <clears throat> All right. So the sun does a delay movement. So let's see. Ooh, loses P-Speed. Yeah, this could be very weird. Sun does a movement right here. I don't think the sun's going to move back here. No, he's safe. Does not get the fanfare. Lucky him. Luck's got nothing to do with it, though. All right. He's going to skip the fortress. Boom. He's out of there. Jeez, Calco, Look at your time. He's going to get sub 54, but I don't think he's going to get sub 52. All right. It's Stewie's turn. But unfortunately, Stewie has to do all three levels. That death. Oh, dude. That death really hurt him, man. I think that death lost race one for him. I really think it lost it for him. What do you guys think? All right, come on, Stu. He hasn't used any star yet. Nice, nah, getting peace speed. Not even a turn back. He doesn't care. All right. Ooh, going for the double jump. Nice, taking it home, cleaning it up, cleaning it up. Neither of them get the award for keeping the power up, and neither of them have hammer suits. So the only one left is uh, the elevator clip. And again, Stu does not have a uh, cloud. He unfortunately had to waste it to avoid doing the Piranha Plant stage. But, in my opinion, the Piranha Plant stage is a lot faster than uh, the Fortress in World 8. So, not sure if that was the best play. <clears throat> but, you never know what to do in these tournaments, right? You never know what to do. It's hard to figure out. All right, Calco. Fingers on the trigger, bud. Are you going to get the elevator clip or not? Let's find out. Kako is on pace for a 53, a sub-54, so he will get extra points. Let's see if he gets Elevator Clip. Does he get Elevator Clip? No, he does not! That could really swing for Stu there. Really, really swing. We gotta hope Kalko does not mess up any jumps and fall in the lobby here. One-up clip works nicely for him. Looking good. All right. Ooh, does not get the P-Speed. If Kalko takes damage here, he might not get the sub-54 points. If The sub-54 points is really going to help him here, beating Stu. Let's find out what happens here. If he takes damage, that'll be really bad. Oh, and he nails Bowser. Okay, so he is actually really good here. Let's wait for him to enter the door here. We got a little bit of screen cut off. Let's see if I can fix that a little bit. A little screen fixage right there. There you go. A little bit better. All right. 53-14. First place. Sub-60. Sub-54. Coming in clean with a hot and sexy 8.5 first game. We don't know if he won the match, though. We do not know if he won this match. He did get first place in the race, but in the match itself is about points. Let's see what happened. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. All right, Stu. I'm not going to say what his points are because I don't want Stu reading the Discord. I do not want Stewie reading the Discord. All right, Stu. Well, we know Stu got second place, and we know he's going to get a sub-60. This is crazy. Stewie really, really needs this point. I don't think Stu can win this, though. He needs three points to tie it up, and I don't think he can get three points here. He needs Elevator Clip to, to close the gap. Oh, he gets it! 
gets it! Oh my gosh! That elevator clip has single-handedly changed three races so far. That one elevator clip has single-handedly changed three races so far in the tournament. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. <clears throat> Ooh, messing up. Don't die, Stu! Okay, he's looking pretty good. Even at Bowser, he's looking pretty good. Dang, dude. That death single-handedly lost him the race. Stewie with second place, sub-60. Look at that. Wow! This is gonna be a tight- this is gonna be a tight round too, because remember, the winner of the bracket is whoever has the most points after the first two races. Holy crap, dude. Calco, kids. If they tie after round two with total points, the person with the best average time will take the win. Absolutely incredible. Guys, that was... Okay, you guys are ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go! All right, here we go. Let's see if Calico's gonna get caught with the bikini babes. Calico. Calico... Getting caught, man! This is why I confirmed ready two times! Getting caught with the Bikini Babes. Maybe his internet is making Discord a little weird. Either way, we are looking good right now. It's probably his internet. He's probably behind on Discord. That's all. Hey, man. Bikini Babes are too good. All right. See you later, chat. I will be back after this race. Ooh, the last thing I forgot to up was my, my KBS, man. I gotta throw that baby up high. But I think we're looking pretty good. Stewie not getting early P-Speed, but we already know that that does not matter at all. Let's hope the Bikini Babes do not attack Calco's internet this time. That'll be very unfortunate. And let's hope that Stewie doesn't give his controller to his little sister. That's not gonna help him win the race. You can see he lost the last race by 0.5 by sharing his controller. You should not do that. Stewie, run he's Stewie's running into these stairs, man. He's a pro stair runner into it right now. He's going crazy. He's even got the benefit of the lead here. Stewie really has to, he's really got to shake off these nerves, man. He's nervous, and you can see it. I know his personality. I've met him. I've hung out with him. I know he's nervous right now. He needs to shake it off, get comfortable. He knows his game. This is his game. He knows it. He's got to calm down. He's got to nail this tunnel. That's what he's got to do. All right, Stewie's screen right now. He's got to nail this tunnel. He gets that extra 0.5. Come on, Stu. Oh, he does the face plant, dude. If Calco gets this, that is a big chance for him. Calco with the duck jump. Calco gets it. Ooh, MFP tunnel. Ooh, we would hate to see Stewie get knocked out of this race. Stewie is now behind by one full point. Oh my gosh, already off to the bat, man. These guys want the money, man. I think these guys want some money. I think that's what's happening right now. I think these guys want some money. And they're fighting for it. Dude, this is a schoolyard brawl. Stu's got a nice lead here, though. So maybe Stu's gonna win in time this time. You never know, man. But Calco is off to a great start. Ooh, Calco definitely not get- Ooh, he gets it! He got a really nice frame rule there. It was very likely that he wasn't gonna get that frame rule, but he nailed it. Yeah, $500 cash prize. Type, ex type in exclamation SMB3. Follow the links, man. I can't help you guys any more than that. You know, I tell you guys all this stuff, but make sure you hit the links, guys. Make sure you hit the links so you can get more involved. All right. World 1, down for both of them. They're both going to have to get the Fire Flower on the uh, airship. Uh, Stewie's going to get a good pattern, uh, but Calco is not going to get the best of patterns. So if Calco gets a Fire Flower here and takes damage... 
Ooh, baby. You hate to see that. A part of the reason why Kalko did so well last race is he was able to keep his Fire Flower all the way to World 6. So if he, if he can't do that again, that's going to change his points drastically. All right. Let's let the airship just go by. Let's go. Dun, dun, Stewie going for the fire kill. He gets a good one. Nice and easy. Nice and done. Kalko will not get the nice and easy one. Oh, he takes the damage. Exactly what I said, man. Exactly what I said. That is very bad news for Kalko. MFP Tunnel is not going to help you now. Oh, baby. That is big. That is big. Kalko's sitting right there. Oh my gosh. Hot damn, dude. Alright. For those of you who don't know, the next points that you can get awarded in World 2 is 2-2. You need to get a 292 in the pipe in 2-2. You nail that, you're good to go. Alright, so where's Calco gonna get his Fire Flower? That's the question. Most speedrunners reset if they make that mistake. Where is he gonna get the Fire Flower? There... There's no Fire Flower in World 2. At least not that I know of. Where? Right? Where? There's gotta be one somewhere. Oh, there is one in, in 2-5. I know that. Okay, Stu, come on. Alright, Stu, no tears. 297. 296. 295. 294, he's got it! 293, big jump! Nope, missed it. Calco, 296. 295, he ran too much. Ah, he's not gonna get it either. Too slow. 292, 291. Neither of them get it. You hate to see it, guys. Well, nobody fell into the mode of tears. Uh, Stewie, that is a great movement to see. He is not going to get a, uh... Uh, bad RNG, but he's not gonna get peace speed though. Kalko catching up, man. Ooh, Kalko is in an uncomfortable position though. If that Hammer Brother moves left, Kalko is forced to fight that Hammer Brother. And that will be a pretty big time swing. But it can prevent him from bad RNG later, so you never know what can happen there. Mm -hmm. Alright, Stu's gonna get a fire kill. That's gonna save him some good time here on Kalko. Um, although he didn't do it very fast, so it looks like it's gonna save him a little under three seconds for that. Depends on how fast Kalko can do these stomps. Looking pretty good. Ooh, not the most optimal stomp, so look at that Stewie saved about three seconds. Stewie might get post 2-3 early hammer. Oh no, not Red Rocket again. That's what screwed you over last time. You know, they go for these swag strats, but it's not swag when you mess them up. Look! Right? There you go! There's no swag when you mess them up. That's- that's my motto. But Mitch, we go for the swag. Not swag if you mess it up. <laughs> Alright, so Kalko did not have to fight that extra hammer brother, which is really good for him. And he gained a little bit of time back because of the red rocket. Stewie does not get post 2-3, and he wasn't even there to begin with, so looking pretty good. Alright, these guys making heavy work. Kalko also having the hammer brother pretty much in the same position. I want to see someone get caught by the tornado. Oh, Stewie getting scared of the sun there. That's not gonna... Nah, that's not gonna flub him up too much. Alright, looking good. Nice, Stu has been told which direction to go by the Hammer Brother. Let's see if Kalko goes to 2-5 and tries to get the Fire Flower. Okay, he's going to 2-5, but I don't think he's gonna get the Fire Flower here. Let's find out. The Fire Flower is in the top section. I don't think he can get it. Ooh! He's gonna have to get something. What's he gonna do here? Oh, is he gonna get Fanfare? Nope. I wonder why he just didn't do the normal turn back there. Very scary, man. He, the two card, man. The double card. So, what Kalko's strategy is with the two cards being the same is pretty much, he has the chance of never having to do a turn back. Does he know this strategy? He does not, so he's gonna take it nice and safe, which I don't blame him. So Kalko could do a very big pog strategy here. If he practiced the point system tournament, he knows that he could beat the pyramid and just beat world two. And what that means is that he can get the hammer in world three, right? And then do the fortress in world four for those points. 
right? He would actually kind of gain the lead here and have the advantage on points. Let's find out if he does that. I would highly recommend that he goes right to the castle here and then go for the fortress. Ah, oh, see? Good, some good practice would definitely tell him to go to the fortress and then do the fortress in world four to try and get that point five. He's already taken damage. So there's no harm in taking damage in the fortress. So yeah, if he went, if he avoided fighting the hammer brother here, because fighting the hammer brother and grabbing the fire flower on this airship, you can guarantee he's probably not going to get the 221 point. Uh, however, Stewie was set up. Uh, hopefully he knows this pattern. Uh, Hammer Brother in between the castle and the pyramid set up. So hopefully he gets it. Right? In Calco's position, he's already taking damage. So taking damage on World 4 Fort 1. It's not gonna... There's no sweat off his back. To so the option of getting 0.5. That's the... Because he can't get the, the three point lead that he got last time, he now has to find ways to make up, make up the points, right? But, hey man, this is what happens. Alright, Stu. So Stu needs to get a 221 or higher on the timer when he kills the boss. Alright, Stu, let's go. Finger on the trigger. Two hit, three hit, four hit, five, six, seven. Oh my god, you get tossed around! He does not get it! Ooh! This is why Calco should definitely have taken these risks with these points. Not gonna get it, because the pattern is gonna be all different. Yep, Calco's not used to that pattern, unfortunately. He is also not gonna get it. However, if he avoided, if he didn't go for the Hammer Brother and went straight to the castle, got the Fire Flower, he would have got a pattern he's used to, would have nailed this point, and had the option for the point in World 4. But who knows? Maybe Calco's gonna skip the Hammer Brothers in World 3 in case he gets Runaway Bro. Maybe he knows more than I do, which we've definitely seen our runners display in this run. Or race, I should add. All right, Stewie, first try. Stewie does not get the point for first try jump. The first try, first frame jump in 3-1. Three, three, he does not get it. Everyone watch Calco's screen right now. Let's see if he gets the first frame jump. At the beginning of 3-1, does he get it? Fingers on the trigger, Calco. He does not get it either. Ooh, man, some missed points here. Come on, guys. It's just a frame perfect jump, 1 60th of a second. This is an incredible race so far right now. The point difference is barely noticeable. However, Stu is behind by one full point. 8.5 versus 8. And then we got 2 versus 1.5. The total amount of points determines the end. Stu getting P-Speed this time. I'm sure he's very happy about that. He is winning the race, in fact. Ooh! Calco takes a spill. He goes for the cannonball. The splash takes damage. He cannot get back up. He's doing the belly flop. He does not know what to do. Oh, boy. Is he going to go for P-Speed anyways? Oh, he's going for it anyways. Oh, he goes for another splash. He takes a death. Oh, no. Stu has a huge lead right now. What a bad day to go swimming, man. All right, now he's going to get the P-Speed. Here he goes. The belly flop does not help anyone. Definitely opt out for that belly flop. God, he might have actually... You know how sometimes you, you land in water and you go to breathe and you breathe in water and you start choking? That might... Ooh. Missing the card. Almost get the fanfare. Stewie going for door three. Does he get it? Oh, he does not get it. That would have been a nice point lead. But at this point, you get it? Ooh, Calco getting the movement of four. This is not working out for him. All right, he's going to go for the P-Speed. Gets it. Looking pretty good. Ooh, going for another splash, dude. This guy in his water. He's... Where's your bathing suit? Okay, I don't see your bathing suit. Looking pretty hot right now. All right, Stu not getting runaway, bro. That's going to be really good for him. All right. Stu making sure he doesn't get coin ship. He's going to go back to zero on his tens digit for his points. All right, Calco. Calco's definitely going to go for door three. Let's go, Calco. You need these points, buddy. Oh, he does not get it. He is not as lucky as last time yet. Luck has nothing to do with it, man. That is another single frame input. 
Ooh, he definitely does not want to take damage because he's going to get his Fire Flower back in 3-4. Hopefully that puts him back on target. Stewie's going to have to do a couple extra map movements to go down and fight that Hammer Brother. Boom, boom, secures the kills. And on, Calco killing it. Look at them, they're both in a spot here where there's nothing to do. All right, so Stewie's going to be able to use his Cloud. Ooh, Calco getting runaway, bro. Is Calco... Does he know? Is he going to go for the slide? Oh, but he gets it nice. Oh, he gets the... Oof. Dude, the pixels, man. Calco is getting robbed in World 3 right now. Not getting his peace speed back. Gets it back right here. Goes for the duck jump. All right, Nails. All right, right on. He gets his Fire Flower back. That's really good. Ooh, is Calco going to get one? He is on his way to a coin ship, but uh, luckily, he's not going to get a coin ship. Lucky for him. All right, he's going to skip this bro. Oh, he does not know. He has not been practicing. He has not been practicing. This is, uh, this is a yikers. When you don't, oh no, he already died. Cloud, go. Cloud, what are you doing? Cloud, what is going on? No. This ladies and gentlemen is a huge display of not practicing. This is a huge display of not practicing. Uh, oh wait, no, this is Stu. Wait. Stu has not died, and Stu has not been awarded any rewards. Calco has died twice already. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, all he had to do was use the cloud and cross the bridge, and then fight, and then do the fortress in World 4, which would award him a point anyways. So, unfortunately... Unfortunately, this is a big, you hate to see it. The bridge was closed. The bridge was closed. And he, he has the hammer. So... I'm not sure what he's doing right now because the bridge is going to be open. So he's not going to be able to cross the bridge here. Oh no, that is the hammer because they switched. That's right. Yep. Hey. He might go for the cloud in 3 7. I'm not sure. He does. He has done two deaths. I have marked him down for the two deaths right here. Stewie not going for the Wendy kill. There's the hammer. But the bridge is closed, right? He should have just skipped that, bro. Now he's saying to himself, what the heck is wrong with me? He's got to fight the bro, then he's got to do... Oh no, so now he's end up... He's, so now he's doing what he just should have done in the first place. Ooh, oh boy. Person with the most points after both the races wins. That is incredible. That is incredible. Yep. So he's gonna hope that the Hammer Brother comes back, but regardless, the bridge is going to be closed. Hey, there's a power up there. I didn't know that. No, I knew the power up was there. I'm debating you guys. Stewie making heavy work of 4 1 right now. So, just a reminder, you guys, if Calco decides that he is not into this race anymore, what can happen is. Stewie will still have to finish to acquire all the points. Why would he not want to finish, right? Of course he wants he wants to get as many points, right? All right, Calco's out of there. For, for some reason he has the mindset that he needs this hammer. Right? He doesn't. He doesn't need the hammer at all. <laughs> he is very confused. It happens though, guys. I can't say that this doesn't happen. This happens to everyone. You guys, this happens to everyone. Uh, it is a hate, it is a you hate to see a moment, but hey, man. Welcome to the wonderful world 
of SMV3. Okay, so he is finally on the airship. Uh, I wonder if he's realizing that the whole time he should have just clouded and boom, got out of there. Yep, Stewie definitely- is he gonna do the fortress? He is not gonna do the fortress. That is a good idea because he has not taken damage yet. However, Stewie has not generated any official points yet during this race. Um, so as long as he doesn't get Starbro here, which it looks like he- Oh! Looks like he's in the clear, actually. He might be able to get Boxless. If this Hammer Brother moves down, he can skip him with the screen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't get sniped, Stu. Please tell me you know you know how to do this. Come on, jump up, shoot him, something. Oh, no. The off-screen swim. Here we go. He doesn't know where these shots are going to take place. Okay, he's safe. We saw the two shots. All right. That is very close. All right, Calco. Ah! What the heck? Wow, that scared me. Oh my gosh. All right, Stewie. Oh my gosh. I got rid of that fast. Yeah, that was definitely on Calico sites. So now we have the Stewie audio. Guys, that scared me. That made me jump in my seat as if these races don't make me jump. My heart can't handle these races, guys. My heart cannot handle these races anymore. Whew. All right, so Stu, ooh, getting bad RNG. Wait, what? Double music box. Looks like Stewie is gonna have to go, why? Okay, so here's the question that I'm wondering. Stewie uses an extra music box, but he could have fought the P-Wing and still used the music box to avoid, because now Stewie might get screwed over and have to fight both Hammer Brothers in World 5. All right, Calco doing fast P-Speed strats in 4-1. Looking good. Always with the fanfare, man. He's always scaring me with the fanfare. Now Stewie's gonna have to do 100% pattern. Calco not getting the fanfare. No, Stewie's doing a movement of one pattern. Sorry. All right. Dude, I fixed that up fast. That was some, that was some scary stuff. All right. Oh my gosh, I can't type right now. Okay. Oh, guys, uh, for everyone in chat, let me just give you a... Uh, oh my gosh, come on. Why does it do that? Dude, I moved my OBS so, like, all the streams, like, stop. That was so stupid. Um, guys, let me just tell you that I got accepted for SMB3 into the online GDQ that they're doing. So, yay! We got a run-in. Right on. Oh, we can't see Stu because... Ah, dude, why do my screens do that? That's so annoying. All right, I'm not moving anything anymore. Right on, guys. I got a run-in. The online GDQ. It's going to be a 100% run. Woo! Right on. Oh, Stu using a... Oh, no. Calco used the star, but he tried to get that point. Now he's realizing... Ooh, almost took damage. Now he's realizing that the entire time, he does not get the star roid. He is minus... Ouch, oh, man. You hate to see it. Yeah, I think Calco's finally realizing now, oh, crap. I should have just clouded right away. Went for that point. Um, you guys, congrat congratulate me after this. I cannot see chat. Calco getting a little mini marathon. Stu with the nice coin count. Good job, Stu. Sorry about the windows closing. God, that's so annoying, right? Like, I moved my OBS and all my windows closed to minimize. It's so stupid. I still blame Windows 10. <laughs> all right, Cal uh, Stu, he does not want to take damage here. He's very nervous. Looking good. He made it. All right, Calco in the hardest level in World 4 right now. Nice. Making good work with that. Making good jumps. Boom, baby. He's got it. Oh, he almost took damage. Nice shot. Nice yacht. All right, Stewie's got one world left. He's obviously not... Dude, if Stu goes for Jesus Clip, he is an insane mad lad. He might think that he's losing. He might take a risk when he doesn't have to. Right? Ooh, Calco's gonna have to music box, but unfortunately, he's, like, tied in with those bros. If that is a star bro and he gets screwed over, that would be very unfortunate. Minus one for him. All right, so Stewie going for the 5-1 here. 
He does not want to take damage, dude. He's nervous. Right? You guys, um, you guys can remind me. I don't think Stewie has taken damage yet. I think Stewie's done pretty good so far. He's not taking damage, which means he should be awarded that point if he gets it. He does. Stewie does have the original fire. And there it is, guys. The Hammer Brothers switched on him, making Stewie's double music box a potentially really bad play. Don't fall down the shaft of shame. He did not. So Stewie has not landed in tears, and he has not fallen down any shafts. He's looking really good right now. Ooh, watch out. If the slide strat doesn't want to take damage here. It's very intense right now for Stu because he's got no points so far. Ooh, Calco getting screwed over by the Hammer Brother. Is it the Star Bro, though? Ooh, it's not. Nice. Getting that P-Wing will be really good for him. However, he did use his music box already, so World 5 might screw him over. All right, Stu right there. Stu's probably going to want to get that P-Wing on the right side since he did double music box. Oh, he's not going for it. Okay. Now he's going to be forced uh, to fight. Oh, maybe they're going to do the movement of four. But if he gets the movement of four, he doesn't get the reward. Let's find out what's going to happen here. If Stewie gets the movement of four, he gets the good RNG with the uh, P-Wing, but he doesn't get the reward. This is incredible right now. Oh, looking good. Ah, oh, dang. You hate to see it, dude. Bad RNG, man. Bad RNG. But he still can get the, the no movement of four reward. That could be really good. Let's see what he does if the bro moves back to the left. He does not. So he's forced to fight him. This is pretty good for Stu. Uh, he... Yeah, this is pretty good for Stu, if you ask me. I'd say this is pretty good. You guys think Stu's gonna go for Jesus Clip? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm... He is the Jesus Clip master. He's gotten it. Stewie has done three races and it has gotten it in two of his races. Oh, dude, getting troll. But you see that when you do that pipe, it takes away your P speed. So you don't really want to opt in for it, right? You lose your P speed. You can take damage here. It's I don't the swag. It's not worth it in my opinion. It's swaggy enough bombing through this game. If, if swag's gonna cost you time, I don't know, man. I don't know. So Stu's really gotta watch out for coin ship here because he has fought all the Hammer Brothers. So this is the only one left. And he is tippy toes away from a movement of four. As long as he doesn't die here, looking good. Making his jumps. A little bit of lag there. It's pretty hard to nail those jumps. Ooh, you don't wanna press A on that turtle. Looks like Stu listened to me early in the early in the game when I said he's gotta shake off those nerves, man. He shook him off. He's looking pretty good. Calco going for the fire kill. He's like eight shots away. He's got one left. There it is. Nice. Stu! Oh my gosh! With the clean RNG! He's got a chance here. Don't take damage! That's fine, man. He doesn't care about peace speed. He doesn't want to take this damage, man. I really don't think he's going to go for Jesus Clip. Because he is at a very, very easy spot right here. Very easy spot right here. Looking good. All right. Here it is, Stu. No P-Speed. Nice. Taking it safe. As long as he doesn't take any damage. All right. It's Calco's turn for World 5. He's made it there. As long as he gets no movements of 4, he should be pretty good. Oh, no. Stewie's got 88 coins, but that's actually going to change right here. So that's pretty good. I think Calco should go for Jesus Clip, right? And that could really change some odds here if he gets it. Holy crap. This run would be crazy. <laughs> you hate to see it, dude. You hate it. Good move. Good move. Not going for Jesus Clip. He just one level away loses his reward for uh, those moving. Oh, he almost died right there. That was crazy, man. That scared me. Calco also not falling down the shaft of shame. Looking pretty good. Calco has not got a movement of four yet, so he still has the opportunity of getting rewarded here. Uh, getting a rewarded will be really good because Calco has... Uh, 0.5. Ooh, there's a little pipe there. You gotta watch out for that. All right. Fanfare? Nah, no fanfare. All right. All right, Stu getting P speed now. He's looking pretty good. Calco does not get the Hammer Brother switch. He still does not have a movement of four. He's looking pretty good. Stewie almost lost his Fire Flower there. 
Uh, Calco is also in good reigns and the internet is acting up. I'm actually gonna quick click quickly. Yeah, oh yeah, his audio is still going. Uh, some people in chat, you know, might have been telling him, but. All right. Calco making heavy work. Let's see if he gets a movement of four. Does not get a movement of four, but he has a chance to get this P-Wing. That'll be really good for him. Stewie on the airship. Stewie's going to be able to... Ooh, getting bad RNG there. Unfortunately, you hate to see it. <gasps> oh, Calco avoided the coin ship. Thank goodness. I, I noticed the coin ship there, but he's not going to get a coin ship. But Calco has not got a movement of four yet. So if Calco can get Jesus Clip and watch out for the movement of four, boom, baby, he's in there. Dude, that'll be incredible. Stewie is actually only plus 18.9 away from his PB. This run is going very well for him. But he, ha he is getting a whole bunch of extra Hammer Brothers that he's not used to, I think. We're going to see here. The triple Hammer Brother and, uh, and movements of four is really going to hurt him here. Yeah, it's looking like... Yeah, he's going to save. Or he's going to lose some time here. Calco um, doesn't feel like going in that pipe right now, so he's gonna wait. Let's see if Calco gets the reward, man. He needs something to lift his spirits. However, the Hammer Brother is one. Stewie took damage! What the heck? What did he take damage on? I missed it! What did he take damage on? A cannonball? Was he dicking around? What the heck? That is huge for Lu uh, for uh, Calco. What did he take damage on? Was it cannonballs, man? What are you doing? Jumping on cannonballs? Stop! Stay away from those things. That is unfortunate. Calco has not got a movement of four yet. We, oh, we really have a race. Ooh, damage boosting right through. We really have a race now. I really hope Calco goes for Jesus Clip because that is what he is actually going to need to win the whole thing. Uh, Stewie's actually going to go for Fire Flower here. I thought he knew his patterns here. I don't think so. He's, he's going to go back for it. Calco with the two avoids the fanfare. There he goes. Stewie's got his Fire Flower. All right, Calco. No movements of four. Ah, the same as Stewie. He needs this Jesus clip. Oh, he almost got it, dude. That was so close. That really helped Stewie right there. That really helped Stewie. Grats to Stew for, uh, he, he dodged a bullet there. But it's way far from over now. The, the lead that Stewie had... I mean, he's going to win uh, probably for time. Unless Stewie somehow gets a game over or something, which I don't see happening. Ooh, he's got the, he got the slow fall there. Looking pretty good. All right, Stu making good work of the fortress here. I'm very nervous about Calco making it to the uh, one hour mark. That could really uh, that could really hurt. And all he had to do was just cloud across that level and he would probably be in the lead right now uh, with points. Not time, but with points. He sat there, he didn't know what to do. It was very confusing, but he definitely, definitely should have just went for the... Oh, and he takes the death right there. Another death. Well, I guess that death's not too- Oh, and he took a death from Jesus Clip. That's right. I'm sorry, guys. I missed that one. I got it, though. I got it. I got it. All right. So, Calco is actually a little bit further behind than I thought. The four death. Ooh, Stewie with the jump is gonna- Might screw him over there. Yeah, you know, you definitely don't want to jump on that uh, P-switch there because you have less runway for- Yeah, there we go. All right. Calco making it. Dude, if Calco got that Jesus Clip, that would have been incredible. So he's going to use his P-Wing here. Alright, he's going to go for the despawn strat. Does he nail it? It looks like he did. He's looking pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Batter up. Swing and a miss on the first one. 
Home run on the second one. Got it. All right, looking pretty good. Again, this race, I don't know, man. This race is pretty hard. It's, it's really hard to tell. Ooh, Stewie is stuck, man. He's stuck. Let's see if he gets bad RNG. I cannot believe Stewie took damage. What the heck, man? Why are you dancing on cannonballs? You stay away from those things. Ooh, Stewie got bad RNG, man. He's, he's forced to fight this bro. Ooh, it's a good thing he didn't lose his tail. If he lost his tail, the next fortress would have been very, very annoying to do. Calco going for the same thing, man. That's why I used the bullet bill to get up there. I just, just, I'm staying away from the cannonballs, man. Bullet bills are way more comfortable. All right, Stu getting the nice jumps here. Oh, very nice. Ooh, the duck jump almost died right there. He was literally three pixels away from dying. Ooh, taking damage. He's not going to be able to... That's going to be a pretty stressful uh, level 8 for him. If Stu takes a death here, holy crap, man. He does not want to take a die. Ooh, bumping on the overworld map. You're not going to get anywhere. You're bumping. Yeah, he's going to go for the mushroom. Is he going to go back? No, he's going to go for the shell. That's a good idea. Okay. Right on. I try and pretend like I know what these players are going to do. Oh! <gasps> Does he remember the setup? Oh, he's gonna go for the crazy leg! All right, he makes it, okay. All right, finger on the trigger, Stu. Right here, you gonna get first try wall jump? Right here, bud. I'm waiting. Here we go. Let's go. First try. Ah, oh, he does not get the sub pixel. You ate to see it. He's tilted, man. He's not jumping in the right place. Oh, he's missing his A inputs. There we go. Nice job from Stu. Getting the wall jump. Dude, the wall jump altogether is pretty hard to do. Calco going for the backup strats. Ooh, I have never seen those ones. I always... I always jump on the question block and then go over. I've never seen someone grab the leaf and land back on the platform. That's incredible. All right, Stu wants... Stu wants 4-3 four, four, clip. All right. I'm on the trigger, Stu. Let's go, man. You got it. Oh, messed up P-Speed. He's going to take damage. You have time. Oh, no. Oh, he takes the death. Holy crap. Big swing, dude. Big swings right here. Oh, my gosh. Is he going to go for the power up and try it again? I would. Ooh, Calco getting P-Speed was expecting it. Very nice work of that. All right, here we go, Stu. Ah, oh, he does not get it very far from it, too. Holy crap. This is really going to hurt Stewie's uh, uh, points per game, man. Really going to hurt his points per game. He was on he was on pace to have really good average points per season. But this is not looking good for him in uh, his average points. Even if he wins this race, he will have a very low average points uh, compared to some of the other guys. But you never know how the race goes. Calco, how are people getting despawn running on that block? Well, the race isn't over. I'm just talking in terms of his overall uh, points. Just talking of his overall points per average. The deaths do not clear the points. No, he loses his no death reward. And then he uh, loses 0.5 for dying. Alright, so Stewie still has a very comfortable lead here. Very, very comfortable. But that death, the points, man. Holy jumping. Calco getting better RNG here. Even if he got bad RNG, he had the extra music box. Calco still has, after game one, a 0.5 lead. So right now, Calco is only down by one point, guys. That is it. Oh, never mind. Commentator's curse. Why do I say things? That is why you do not see that strategy used in speedruns. That strategy is very difficult. Uh, he's going to use a P-Wing, which I think is a good idea. He has an extra one. P-Wing makes the strategy easy. Going for the the duck jumps. Now he can just flutter low. Oh, what is he? He could have just flew low. Hey, man, if you're not practiced for some strats, it's okay. It happens, man. It happens. Yeah, why do I say things? All right. He's not going to take damage because I don't think he wants to go for the wall jump. All right. Eyes on the prize on Stewie's screen. Let's see if he goes for some pixel manipulation. He needs to move one pixel to the right. To set up for a low subpixel value. You need don't get confused by speed. 
he did not move one pixel to the right there. So I don't know. He didn't last time, but he still got it. So I don't know what the heck kind of sub-pixel manipulation he, he's planning on. Oh, he does not get it, dude. Dang it, too bad. Does not get it on Stewie's side, unfortunately. Come on, Calco, get the wall jump here. Stewie using the P-Wing, which I think is a good idea. Calco getting the clip. Ah, oh, two times, but not getting the A input. This is really putting him a lot further behind in the lead. Or, sorry, um, just behind altogether. Ouch. He has an extra P-Wing, I thought, right? Didn't he get the P-Wing in World 4 and in World 5? There we go. Nails it. Nice job, dude. Wall jumps are not easy to do. So yeah, he's using a P-Wing here. Very interesting. I wonder if he's going to take damage and try and go for the clip. Very curious. Oh, I thought he was going to get it, man. That clip always gets me. That clip always gets me. Make him work on that boom boom. All right, on Stu. All right, so Stu's probably going to move forward, and then you want to see him try and move a little bit more to set up for a good sub pixel manipulation. So let's see if he gets it here. All right. I think he kind of got a little confused there. So we'll see if he gets first try wall jump in 7 6. Finger on the trigger. Stu has acquired no points yet so far. He needs something here. Oh, he misses it. He jumped a little too early. Uh, little does he know, he has a very good lead right now. Uh, but he does not know that. Alright. Hold on just one second, guys. And I'm back, you guys. So it looks like it looks like Stewie is having a very hard time with this clip. Uh, but it happens to all of us. Um, you definitely don't want to see a timeout here. Oh, that was a way early jump. I think he still did. I think he should stop moving just for a second. <laughs> kind of get his bearings a little bit. Oh, man. Let's hope he doesn't accidentally enter the level here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, he got it. Yeah. Yeah, you should get it before I come back. Oh, Calco gets the point, dude! First try clip for Calco! Look at that! He's trying to get some points back here. That is going to be very good. Stewie has not acquired any of his points yet, unfortunately. He's got no points. Only a death. 7-7 seven, seven, though, right? Right, Stu? We're going to get it.
Come on, Stu. Let's go. Oh, come on. Very close. He's got to get it. Oh, he lost his P-Speed. Ooh, that's going to hurt with the time some more. Calco catching up, man. What the heck, dude? This... Because Calco will not go for 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh, my gosh. Is this... Is this going to be... Oh, my gosh. Is this... Okay, he's opting out. He's like, I'm done with this. I don't think that was accidental. Uh, Calco has already used the star, so he's already lost his inventory stars. Get it together, guys. All right, Stu. Come on, Stu. You need these clips. Come on. Don't go for the bottom two. Your odds of getting... Oh, my... I swear to God, if he gets all four first try. Nope. All right. That's good, though. He still is not out of point. Calco, he's going for it. Does he get a first try? Oh, he almost got a first try. So, Stewie lose. Oh, second try. Holy crap, dude. If Calco gets 7-7, he's caught up so much. Stewie is dancing around with these clips, not getting them. There we go. Calco is not far behind. This is incredible. Calco going to go for 7-7. Seven, seven. If he gets it, he gets some heavy points here, man. Stewie's like, I'm out of here. Fingers on the trigger, Calco. I got you. Holy crap. They are tied right now. They are tied. They're tied. <laughs> they are actually tied right now. This, and he's not far behind him. Right? Okay, dude. If Calco gets first try, three and four. Oh my gosh. What a comeback, dude. Calco is very famous at jumping a little too late for these clips, though. All right, here we go. All right. Jeez, man. If he gets clip three and four first try, that'll be incredible. Hey, you got to press down to clip there, Calco. I've been there, though. High total points right now. Yes. Ooh, this is not helping Calco right now with time. He's got to get the heck out of here. Stewie still has his original power up, which is really good. Jump a little bit later, Calco. A little bit later. There you go. Jumps like those. There you go. Much better jumps. Hate to see it. Oh, my goodness. I'm just in awe here. This clip number two just does not want to work, but it, this clip doesn't matter. All right, here we go. This is what matters. Oh my gosh, no way. No, he messed up his input. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, my heart. My heart. He's got extra clouds. No, dude. You have extra clouds. Calico is being a pro right now at not paying attention to his shit. Oh, my. And he's got two clouds. I guess he's going to use them both in world... World 8, I guess? 8-2 and 8-4? Very nice work on Calco's side. All right, Stu. Making it through the airship with the original power-up. Calco not getting the points.
All right. We are on the double auto scroller. Guys, this race has been incredible. It's made me speechless literally for a couple minutes with everything that's going on. The point average is so low based. Stewie has not acquired a single point. He's got to think he's losing, right? I would. He hasn't acquired a single point. Can he get Wrangless? Come on, Stu. Get something, please. Come on, Stu. The Wrangless. You need it. All right, Stu is coming up on Wrangless. Dude, did not get Wrangless, unfortunately. Dude, if Calco gets Wrangless, that'll be crazy. No, I'm still here. I'm just speechless. I'm just watching. This is incredible. I'm like stuck in it. No, I'm definitely here. <laughs> Read some donations. I do not have donations. All right, here we go. Oh, all right, okay. I got my breath back. I had to like take a breather there for a second. So Calco is gonna be on his way for to the first tank and if he gets Wrangless, it's really going to tight some things up here. And Stewie is just about on his way to the hand. So we're going to be able to watch Stewie cross the hands uh, before Calco does Wrangless. So let's hope that Stewie gets no hands because he needs to earn some points here. He's Poor Stu, he's got nothing. He hasn't used an inventory star, so he's got that. He's got that under his belt. At least he's got some. All right, Stu, come on. No hands. Finger on the trigger right here, bud. I'm here with you. Let's go. No hands. Come on. Not even close. That dang hand right there. So if Calco gets Wrangless and no hands. Oh my goodness. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh man. Hand number two. The worst! Don't die, please. All right, he's safe. Yeah, hand two is really weird with eating A inputs. There we go, two hands. He got two hands on both races. Uh-oh, Calco's internet's going. We need to see. If it's chugging, we won't know if you get Wrangless or not. Okay, so Calco should be up for Wrangless. Stewie has not lost his original power-up, and neither has Calco yet. So they still have that reward to claim in World 8. But let's see how this goes, and we're going to know who advances to the next round. That'll be absolutely crazy. All right, Calco, does he get Wrangless? Finger on the trigger. Does he get a second time? No, he does not. That was very close, though. Very, very close. All right, so Stu has 8-1 and 8-2. Calco still has two clouds. So I'm going to guess that Calco is going to do 8-1 and then cloud 8-2 and 8-fortress is uh, what I'm banking on. Stewie does not have any clouds, so he has to do the full the full world 8. He needs to get the effect of the full world 8 here. All right, he doesn't want to use any stars, so he really doesn't want to take any damage here. 
It, it really is coming down to the World 8. I mean, Stewie is in the lead. He will get probably first place points. But that's not going to help him if he doesn't get any points. He's got one point left. He's got, well, he's got two left. He's got the World 7 power up. And then he's got the first try clip on the elevator. And he got that last time. Single-handedly, like, almost tied it up for him. So that'd be pretty good. All right, A2 for Stu. Stu's very close to fanfare. So that sun can really mess him. It can really mess him up, man. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, no! He loses the power-up and takes another death! Oh, my gosh! The sand of shame. You, you hate to see it, but he's got to do it. Oh, my gosh. To total points. Calco is in the lead. Holy crap. That is a big death right there on Stu's part. But he's still maybe, you know, he's still going to get first place, I think. However, Calco's got the two clouds. Oh, Calco got pulled in by the first hand. If he got no hands, that would have been incredible. Holy crap. Stu is just nervous tilted. He has got to take it easy. He should have known he was a little too far right on the music note. However, I will say I have taken that death before. All right, so he's... Stu can only get one reward after. That is it. The elevator clip. If he does not get that elevator clip... Stewie has not a, won a single point this entire race. He goes from averaging incredible points to getting not a single point. I'm not laughing at him. I'm laughing at the fact that, like, the first race he did, he generated so many points, and then the second race is just not having it. These swings are incredible with these races. I'm loving these points, guys. I'm loving these points so much. Alright, so Stewie's out of there. He's got one more auto scroller. Making his way. So the only thing left for him is it. However, Calco has not lost his power up. This is. If Stewie gets knocked out, it'll be heartbreaking how he got knocked out. Right? Maybe Calco's going to forget that he has two clouds. Because he didn't use his cloud in World 7, which that would have been the fastest level to use a cloud on, right? Definitely would have been the faster level to use a cloud on. Alright, Calco's already used the star, so it wouldn't be a bad idea to use the star for safety because he still has his power-up. He still has his power-up. Not going to use it. If he does level 2, I'm going to be so disappointed of the lack of uh, the inventory check. But he nails it, man. He nails the 8-1-P speed. Nails it. All right. No fanfare. Stewie is finishing this auto-scroller. Coming up right now. Calco should be double clouding right now and getting his butt on that auto-scroller right now. Yep. Double cloud, baby. Tightening the gap a lot there. All right, Stu. Come on, elevator clip. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click it for you, Stu. It's getting clicked. All right, you're doing it. Come on. Secure that last point. He gets it! Yeah! There you go! He gets it! Congratulations, Stewie, for getting 1.5 or one full point, not using a star. Right on. I feel like... He should get an award just for that. He nailed it. He finally got a point. Very proud of you. But Calco is very far. He's not far behind, man. Stewie does not take a death. Hopefully he doesn't lose his Fire Flower. That's just going to hurt his time even more here. But he, he should be pretty good with Bowser. All right. He's pretty secure here. Right on, dude. So Stewie getting the first place. And the sub-60, so he has three points. If Calco has more points, he wins because of the first race. Oh, man, I'm nervous. We don't know who wins yet. This is... We don't know, man. You guys are going to have to help me do the, the time maths. All right, if Calco gets first try clip, this is what he needs. This will be 
Uh, very unfortunate. Oh, he loses P-Speed. That is... Oh, he doesn't get it! Oh my gosh! That could be the deciding factor. Next point for him is the one here. This is just... Oh my gosh, he almost fell. If he takes damage from Bowser, he might not be able to even finish and get punished. But I don't think so. Bowser will definitely ta not take him over a minute. Alright, he's securing the shots. Looking pretty good. Alright. So Calco, the original power-up. Second place and under 60. Oh no! Oh no! They are tied in points! The player with the better average time wins. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so what are the times of the of the first two races?